Hi everybody, Keith here, Open Gear FC. Today I'll be reviewing our Lighthouse console gateway feature. So we'll review a couple syntax related items, uh, how to uh, connect into a device or a console server from the command line. Uh, it can be used either on a Mac or a PC using your preferred terminal application. Here you'll see uh, your typical username, uh, console server name, uh, is one method uh, that would get you directly connected uh, to that console server that's being managed by your lighthouse. Uh, you can get a little bit more granular here by connecting uh, to that console server and then to a particular port uh, that you've configured on that uh, console server. And then uh, this option here would allow you to connect directly to the port uh, one thing here to note is that the port name must be unique. And so let me go ahead and we'll jump over here to my terminal application. So the first method here that I've got is uh, just the username connecting directly to that IM7200. Go ahead and authenticate. And you'll see that now I'm on that 7200 with the managed devices that I've got enabled. We've been talking about my Cisco ASA, so let's go ahead and connect directly to that device. So port six, hit enter twice uh, to get into the console of that. And go ahead and then once I've got on there, go ahead and authenticate. I'm on my device here, as you can see. The nice thing about this option is if I want to manage multiple devices, you know, on one session, uh, now I can jump back to that menu. and connect over to a Cisco switch here that I've got. And this one I didn't set up an enable password so I can jump right on. Fairly easy, straightforward. And to close out, if we use a uh, tilde question mark you'll see the different commands that you can use uh, inside of our PM shell. Uh, earlier I, I uh, entered tilde M to get to the port menu. If I want to close, close out of that I can simply enter tilde dot which is going to close me out. And the second method is connecting directly through that 7200 to that Cisco ASA 5520. Same thing, still authenticate. I accept it, directly connecting me to the Cisco ASA uh, without having to go through that PM shell menu. A little bit quicker. Same thing to close tilde dot to close that out and now the third option is directly connecting to my 5520 I'm authenticating as a different user this time and uh, I've set up SSH uh, key authentication instead of entering passwords uh, for root and so that will make it a little bit quicker for you and you'll see there, as long as your device's device name is unique, then you can directly connect to that. Again, if you happen to have two Cisco ASA 5520s, uh, you'll want to have uh, a unique name. So for my second one, Cisco ASA 5522 or, or something here. So um, as long as that's unique, then 
you're good to go. And that's all I have for today. We'll catch you next time.